My name is Tony Hoos. I'm a physician. I've been working in the pharmaceutical industry for 25 years. Right now I'm the senior physician for Mgen in Europe. So what I'd like to submit to you is, at present or in the past, should I say, we've mostly decided four patients. So we've talked a lot to doctors, we've talked a lot to regulators and also to payers and we've used our own views as industry, what we believed is best for patients. Of course we have to realize we're all patients in one way or the other, but we may not necessarily be experts in the disease we're studying or developing a medicine. And so what brings me here today is very clear. I truly believe by hearing out patients, by working, partnering with patients, by thinking about what endpoints in clinical trials are important for them, what outcomes are important for them, or their loved ones, or those who they care for, for instance, who has a disease, um, will help us shape uh, the environment and drug development much better. I also really believe with all the cost pressures and very tough choices we have in the industry and in the healthcare environment, it pretty much requires a new societal contract. And we can do that only together with patients. So that's really what I think is at stake. And it's a big goal we have to work all together to accomplish. Let me put myself in the shoes of a patient. So if I, you know, if I had a serious disease, and I'm very, very fortunate not to be in that case, but if I had a serious disease, I'd want to have a say in my own future. I'd want to really understand what my data is. I'd want to understand what my options are. And I'd want to take a very active part in shaping my future therapies and also, if you like, my fate. And so if I translate that now back into my industry uh, position and my industry hat, that means to me I have to listen very carefully so that I really hear what the patient's needs are. And then I have to work and collaborate with patients very closely that we shape it so it all meets are met. So right now I think we have points of very good um, experiences where we listen to patients. There is uh, an example where regulators, for instance, in the US have approved a device in anti-obesity where the pivotal trial was, may I say, negative or ambivalent, uh, but there was an FDA-sponsored um, patient preference study which was positive and it got approved based on this combination of sets. That's a really good example, for instance, where the voice was heard. We have many good examples in pharmaceutical industry as well where we work very closely with patients, but there is no systematic approach. There is not a jointly agreed on standard. And certainly there's very big regional diversity and uh, there is neither geographic nor a contents consensus, if you like, how we want to do it and what the best way to do it and what the input really is. So I think what we are out here to do as PFMD to create a joint framework to really think about what's happening in all these geographies, to bridge between the various regions and to give patients a meaningful say is totally missing. That's what I'm looking for to accomplish. So my personal wish would be that we absolutely have informed patients, very important informed patients, otherwise it's very difficult to have a meaningful um, say, inform patients who we work with and partner with throughout the development and life cycle of a medicine and that they have a say in the decision process, not the say, but one say, that we hear them out and we make this should then enable us to make the best possible decisions for a healthcare system and uh, for the individual patients. So I think it's very simple. We can only achieve that goal if we all work together. When you think about industry, this is totally pre-competitive. This has nothing to do with competition. So we can work together to really set standards, to set frameworks, to set a harmonized code almost, how we want to work with patients. I think for the patient groups who we work with, you know, there's no such thing like this is mine, this is yours. Even when you think about a geography, think global, think about the ultimate outcome what can we do best for society, patients being one part of it, so that we achieve the optimal goal. That's really my message. And the other piece is, you know, I really look forward to everybody's commitment and dedication to make it happen.